Well, hello, it's me again, Robin Waite, your fearless business coach, bringing you yet another thing that you should be doing in your business. And today's a very quick and simple one, but I get asked very often how I manage to get some links placed in some uh, amazing uh, sort of online resources, blogs um, and journals and online magazines and things like that. Uh, how I get podcast interviews and various other things. So um, I'm going to show you three tools which I use, which are very simple to set up. They're kind of um, like once they're up and running, they're fairly well automated and they just drop stuff into your inbox and you will be thanking me later on. So I'm going to do what I usually do, flip onto my other screen and then just run through with you um, what these three tools are. So the first one, which you can hopefully see on your screen here, is called Help a Reporter Out. It's run by a company called Cision, uh, or Harrow for short. And basically what this is, it's a, um, well, all three of these are um, sources for where journalists, bloggers, um, and influencers, podcast hosts are looking for experts um, for their commentary on specific things. Now, obviously for me, I use it an awful lot for business. Um, but basically, once you're logged into this, so you can go and have a quick look at the website. It's called helperreporter.com. I shall include a link uh, in the notes next to this um, to this video. Um, so you need to go and register for an account. There's an option here to sign up. So obviously, you'll put down that you're a source, unless you are, of course, a journalist, in which case, if you want to go and find people to guest on your blog, etc. But probably most of you will put down that you're a source. And then once you're logged in, the really important thing is, so you can fill out your whole profile. Uh, with all of your contact information and whatnot. And then down here, you can either have the master Harrow list, help a reporter out list, or just the business and finance list. And then what happens is, uh, on a daily basis, uh, normally one, two, or three times a day, you'll get an email which looks something like this. And were we to scroll down through this, uh, so women to watch in business under 40. So if you're in a a business and you're under 40 and you're female, you could actually put yourself forward for that. There'd be nothing wrong with that. Uh, what else are there? Um, da, 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 da. It's a bit hit and miss, but basically these are all journalists looking for commentary, uh, for experts and things like that. Most memorable interview responses, uh, social entrepreneurs making a difference. And you can either put yourself forward or what I occasionally do is I'll send this list out to my clients and say, you need to go and get signed up to this. Um, this one is definitely for you. Uh, if you're in, into HR and employment and things like that, you could comment, you know, how to, how employees. So basically what happens is, so let's say, for example, we were going to go and choose, um, uh, what was it? Um, consumer trends that retailers should watch in 2020. You click on that. It jumps down. You hit the, um, uh, the email link here. And that will obviously, what this does then is it shoots it off to help a reporter. It sends the journalist who's looking for, co for an expert, uh, a notification saying that somebody's replied to their request, um, and then away it goes. Little tip though, what you want to do is prepare a biography, little biog, um, uh, some your, a list of social media links and things like that, so that when you do um, click into it and send out, and what I tend to do is I'll put the summary in the, um, the subject so they know what I'm replying to, and then say, uh, there's no name on this one annoyingly, but um, if we can find one with a name. So this one, jo Johannes. So I put, Dear, hi Johannes, uh, just putting some, uh, here are my thoughts on marketing insights for 2020. You'd put your thing in, and then underneath that, you would then put your, uh, you can't see what I'm looking at here, you would then put your um, <coughs> biography, so you'd put, hello Johannes, bit of blurb and then underneath it your biog and your social media links so they've got all the stuff it's also quite handy if you also include your um uh, a headshot as well uh where's the camera gone there it is a headshot um so that if they if they do refer to your comments they can actually include your headshot and biography and links back to your website which is pretty cool in the article if it's going online but i've had um, probably 20 or so podcast interviews as a result of this and like i said it pops into your inbox uh one, two, or three times a day. Uh, you can pick out the ones which are for you, or you can just ignore it and not reply to any. It depends on how busy you are. Um, and it's a great way of kind of building up. Um, also, you know, because if you look at some of the people in here, so Up Journey's a big website. Uh, Business Insider is obviously massive. Quite a lot by Business Insider. Freelance, AMB, I don't know what AMB crypto is. Business.com, um, Workable, Enterprises Project, people, because these, these are all like really big blogs, basically, um, really big online magazines. So that's the first one, Help Reporter. 
Uh, the next one I wanted to show you is Journolink. Now this one is paid for. It's only £150 a year, but again, there's some good, I've had some good requests come through from this. Um, similar sort of process to help a reporter. When you log in, you get given a dashboard. Um, you can sign up for the media request. You have to upgrade. I think it's about £150 a year. Um, I haven't done that just yet, um, but I've seen the quality of some of the um, requests coming through. And it works in a similar way to help a reporter, but you actually get a, um, hand curated ones from Journolink. Um, that are kind of much more specific and tailored for you. Um, probably not as many though, that's the only thing. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of hesitated about signing up to this. Because um, you can see them, but obviously what they want is for you to sign up so you, you have to pay for it. Um, but probably as getting maybe two, three, four a week. So it's a much, much lower frequency, but higher quality. Uh, so it has its benefits. The other one which you want to look at as well, similar sort of vein is um, one called Journal Requests. Now, journey request is actually driven by Twitter off the hashtag journey request plus a couple of others as well. Um, some of the journey requests are a little bit um, random, but again, this one is free, just like helper reporter is. You get a daily journal which comes through, so just once a day. But there are normally there's there's a lot of them, so you can just scroll down and find ones which are um, obviously you get a summary on the back end once you're once you're signed up with journey requests. You can go and take a look at the um, you know there's there's ones coming through all of the time here. And generally speaking, you do have to be kind of in there fairly quick in order to kind of respond to it. So uh, let's say if we wanted to re respond to this one, it just goes straight to Twitter and then you reply through Twitter, which is pretty cool. Uh, so any marketers in travel, hospitality or automotive. So this one, for example, I might choose to um, uh, retreat with a comment and then actually... Uh, um, at, uh, now, is he going to come up? I'm not going to come up. I'll have to find it. So John Butler, one of my coaches, uh, works in the hospitality industry, so he'd be perfect for this, actually. So I could just reply, tag him into it, and away he goes. This guy's not had any requests yet, so it's quite a high, um, high chance that um, you probably get a, a response to that. Um, so yeah, so and they're all kind of, they all vary in different in terms of frequency. They You get the email summaries through. They vary in terms of the quality of the requests coming through. For me, if I was to put these in order of um, quality, I would probably go quality in terms of the requests. I'd probably go journo link, then help a reporter, and then um, journo requests. If it was done in terms of frequency, I would go journo requests, help a reporter, and then um, journo link finally. So uh, it's confusing because they're kind of quite similar. Um, hopefully that's um, given you a quick bit of an insight, but go and sign up to Help Reporter, go and sign up to Journey Link, go and sign up to Journey Requests um, uh, immediately. Do not hesitate, do not pass go, do not collect £200. Um, go, go and do this because it's a great way of getting free publicity for yourself and there's a lot of, um, I mean there are, there are tons of different sites like this, I just haven't had the time to find them, so maybe I'll, um, I'll do a little guide at some point um, with a ton of these kind of in, in them. Uh, hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, uh, let me know. Um, that'd be super helpful. If you know any alternatives, like again, let me know. Um, but hopefully that's helpful and I'll catch up with you for the next thing.